Yes, I know. What is Knightsbridge? Well, it's a little jolly devised by old Bertie, made to order for a situation like this. In brief, Lieutenant, I'm giving you and Private Kirby the opportunity of stealing up on those jerrys and... Uh, Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what they say we ought to always look for, is opportunity. Well, Major, I assume you're going to keep this an allied operation. No, yes, indeed. Achtung! Splendid, Leighton. You look revoltingly authentic. At ease. And Leighton, uh, remember to keep at a proper angle behind me so that Jerry's won't spot your stem gun. Very good, sir. And uh, keep the magazine down. I'll tell you now how to handle your part, Lieutenant. See you, sir. I don't believe it. Don't shoot! I know my rights! Kommen Sie vor, der muss den ich brauche, wo Sie den gefunden haben. Wald bestimmt nicht. I demand to see the ranking officer immediately! I know my rights! Wir scheinen nicht ganz fertig zu sein. Ein English Major. Nein, ich habe einen großen Mund. I demand to see the ranking officer immediately. I do my rights. I demand to speak to the ranking officer immediately. Chefs. Now let's join Wilson and have a cup of tea, huh? Well, who's this Wilson? Big secret. Wilson, sir. Put the billy on. That'll fetch him. Wilson never misses his tea. Afraid Wilson's a bit off schedule. Oh, yes, now I can tell you. He's one of mine. I stationed him here yesterday to see what he could find out. And what are we supposed to do? Wait for him? Well, two of us will. The two of us will go and hurry him up. Well, first we all have a cup of tea. Is it boiling, Leighton? Oh, uh, just about, sir. Where's the tea? It's uh, in a canister. Oh, yes. I'm going to make you the best cup of tea you've ever had in your life, Lieutenant. I'm sure the Germans would love to join the party after they see the smoke. <laughs> oh, a little bit of comfort's worth the risk, don't you think? You want to let a trifle like a war destroy the cherished customs? Well, Leighton. Yes, sir. I want you and Private Kirby to walk east and look for Wilson. 
If he's running this one pretty girl, remind him there's a war on. Very good, sir. I'll try. And have a spot for your go, baby. Oh, uh, no, thank you, sir. I never touch it this early in the day. By Jove, you have a sense of humor, Kirby. <laughs> Here, try a little of this. Oh, th th thank you, sir. Hey. <laughs> Major, the next word that comes along, I think I'd like getting your outfit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> On your way, chap. Oh, Layton. Mm -hmm. Sir? If Wilson has found himself a pretty girl, bring her back, too. I expect you'd prefer this letter, and uh, thank you. Family crest, Major. Yes, uh, uh, something like that. I belong to old Bertie. He's a belty girl, believe it or not. An old man, huh? Yeah. Has a right to sit in the House of Lords. Just because he was born in the proper family. You admire him, don't you? Mm, I did. He's dead. It's good ass. His heritage, so they taught him at school, was to fight and die for England whenever the need arose. It's one of the last men to leave Dunkirk, helped chase Rommel out of Africa, led 300 men ashore on D-Day. Finally, in Normandy, the hot white light went out. He couldn't turn it on anymore. That's not seen it happen. Good man. And they start looking over their shoulders too often. But for the old man with the scythe? Oh, no. No, but he's cozy with him. Very cozy. In fact, he'd welcome him any time. And why? And why did the light go out? The same reason that you too may one day harbor a death wish. He sent too many of his own men to their death. Brave, decent fellows, like, like your Kirby and my Leighton. <laughs> I say, Lieutenant, we are getting a bit morbid, aren't we? Tell me about American girls. Do they really spend all their time with the dentist? They have such divine teeth. <laughs> Minutes exactly. We better cook up. Layton, 
it. We'll do it, Willie. Aye. We will, sir. Rainbows to yourself. Luck with rainbows, Willie. God's light, friend. God's light always. The mat and Wilson's left party. Get it, sir. He's gone, sir. The map, Leighton. Have we got time, sir, for a quiet moment? No, we have less than two hours to penetrate five miles of closely guarded country. We'll move out right away. Something on your mind, Lieutenant? You had time for a tea, Major. But none for epitaphs. You feel sorry for Wilson, Lieutenant. I can tell you. He's the lucky one. Okay, chaps. Let's play a bit. Fried flat? <laughs> well, if things still go sour, you couldn't do any good against so many. Now you head for home. Tell the commander in chief it was splendid. We didn't see the banana peel. Let's go. <laughs> We 
somebody's gonna stick his neck out and make sure it's him. Yeah. 